Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to yet another Destiny 2 video and today we are making a Crucible build video with none other than a Hunter. Now I know that's kind of weird to say because Hunters for the past few months have been relatively useless other than obviously the Blade Barrage and the Spectral Blades. You know, Golden Gun hasn't really had too, too much usage. Uh, Arc Striders, you know, that kind of stuff hasn't had too much usage. But today we're putting Hunters back on the map because there is actually an exotic that you can pair with a Thorn that makes it way more deadly and super consistent. This is something that I actually had on by accident in my you know past video when I was using the thorn and a friend mentioned it to me and I was like oh yeah you know what I just realized I did have that exotic on and it makes the thorn a lot better so we're gonna dive right into that let's take a look at the thorn really quickly and then we'll talk about the exotic that pairs with it so obviously mark of devour rounds pierce targets and they deal damage over time kills with this weapon leave behind remnants and that obviously pairs with soul devour so absorbing a remnant strengthens mark of the devour and partially refills your magazine now this right here is a perk that's going to let you two tap guardians if you're landing your headshots and they're going to obviously die because of the DOT damage but the biggest problem is that in some cases when people run higher than five resilience they will stay alive and that's why we are rocking the foe tracer ladies and gentlemen an exotic that for the most part was pretty trash and nobody really used it all that much I mean I personally had it only because it has enhanced hand cannon uh, targeting but it actually now has a purpose in my loadout and I'm honestly not going to take it off for a very long time so visually marks targeted enemies this is very similar to spectral blades where you essentially have a target get on somebody and you can see them through walls and do all sorts of really cool stuff with that and obviously it's a little bit overpowered in crucible now this also deals more damage to low health marked enemies you simply mark somebody by looking at them and shooting at them and then once they are marked if you have soul devour active all you have to do is two tap them and no matter what their resilience level is you will two tap and kill them your damage will start scaling instead of sevens once again to the low health uh, region obviously once you get to like one eighth health it's gonna actually start taking for eight damage and then nine damage once you get closer to actually being completely dead so this will kill anybody i mean maybe if they're running like 10 resilience then you know there's a chance it might not kill them but if you're running any resilience level practically it is definitely going to kill them in a two-shot manner when you are within range the really nice thing about this is if you are going up against somebody with very low resilience if they have let's say one or two they're actually going to die to the dot at further than optimal ranges which makes the range value on the thorn a lot larger than it normally is now this is such a big improvement to the base thorn simply because of the amount of times you're actually going to have soul devour active i mean when you are slaying people out and picking up remnants you're going to have this buff a lot so the fact that you can two shot everybody to the head is a huge advantage and at worst case this is almost like a masterwork or a catalyst version of a thorn that's exactly what this exotic helmet does to it and the fact that you can also you know tag people see them through walls and see their movements it's just a very good combo and i love this build very very much i'm just genuinely happy because hunters now have an exotic helmet that they can pair with a top tier exotic weapon we have not had that for a very long time and for the past six months i've been a little bit jealous of the titans i mean they have had one of the most broken helmets in the game and they got to pair it with memento mori on the ace of spades and you guys know how that story goes it was just it was super OP and basically they would get over shields every single time they won a gunfight and they'd have you know bonus damage and all this stuff on top of momentum mori rounds so yeah I'm just I'm just glad that we finally have something for the hunter it'd be really awesome if for the next season once the hawk moon comes out maybe you know warlocks get an exotic piece that you know somehow pairs with that that would be really awesome to see so definitely try this thing out and let me know what you guys think of it in the comments down below it does make the weapon a lot more potent and I honestly think it's definitely worth running over something like stompies or maybe an exotic chest piece like the Guise and vest for these spectral blades thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed a like rating would be very much appreciated subscribe for more daily destiny 2 content have yourselves a great day and i'll see you all later peace